So we just put some polyester around the manhole um, and on top of it so that then no cellulose falls down uh, after the job uh, when customers come up through the roof. And this is what it's looking like beforehand. And I'll just come up here and, and show you how, how easy it is to pump in. Um, yeah, imagine with uh, bats, uh, every one of these little bays in here has to be cut in and we have to tear the bats in and poke them underneath all of these wires and everything. Um, whereas with the cellulose, I'll just grab the hose here and turn it on. And we just pump it in. Okay. So now, if you've got a product that's easy to install like this, it's going to get installed better um, and more efficiently with no gaps. And that's why we know that this is a, a far superior product than the, than the fiberglass. And see how easy it is for me to get right out to the edges. Um, I don't have to crawl all the way out there, whereas with bats I'd have to crawl all the way out to those edges to pump those or, or rather to cut bats in and, and put them all the way out there. So, whereas with the cellulose, I just reach out, pump, pump out there. And the wires are still on top of the insulation there. And we just go around and do the whole roof, just like that. Now, it's still a difficult job, it's still very hot and that. Sometimes I've had roofs that are 83 degrees Celsius. But, but it's a whole lot easier doing this, at this way, um, than, uh, than doing it with that. And the reason why most companies don't do it this way is because they um, uh, it costs money and equipment to, to buy the machines to do it with sales. So um, I'll just turn the machine off now. And, and that's one section done. So you, can see, you can see how easy that is to get it in there. And you can see... Um, yeah, there's no gaps in any of that um, and uh, and so why do people put bats in well because bats are really really cheap and somebody who installs them only needs to have a ute and a broomstick handle they can call themselves a bat professional bat installer whereas I've got thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment to install this product and uh, it, and the cellulose fiber is really a premium product on the market. Um, rats and mice and things won't won't build nests in it because because it's loose, and so so they can't walk in it or that. So you can see it's just loose like that. And so if a rat crawls across it, he just sinks in it. And so the rats won't crawl in it or build nests out of it. Whereas with the bats, they'll push them up and build nests underneath them. Um, and this is treated with borax and brassic acid and so the borax is this white powder and the borax is a natural insect killer kills any ants, spiders, cockroaches, silverfish or dust mites um, so you get rid of all of the food up here and then you get rid of all of the uh, lizards, rats, um, mice um, and other things that might be eating all of that stuff up in the roof um, so, so yeah and the other thing is fire wise if this house has a fire up in the roof, imagine, um, the cellulose is, is far more fire retardant. So we'll show you in another video, look up the ones on fire, but, but you can imagine if this had a fire here, it would only be able to burn the top of the beam. The fire wouldn't be able to get down past the cellulose on the sides, right, uh, on either side. And so 
the cellular saw actually helped to protect a house in a fire, um, whereas and and prolong the, the burn time of a house. Whereas with bats, polyester bats or fiberglass bats, they just melt away from a fire, and then uh, and then expose your beams and the house burns down. Um, the other aspect is that when fiberglass bats or that are burning, there's poisonous gases produced. Whereas this here is just recycled paper pulp, um, good for the environment, a good use of a material that nobody wants or uses, and um, uh, and uh, the only gas produced when you put a flame on it is CO2 and steam, and you breathe CO2 out. So so even though it's you know it is poisonous, but it's not. Um, uh, not to the same level as burning fiberglass or, or plastic or something else. But anyway, alright, that's my information video on cellulose fibre. I hope it's helped and uh, I'll get to and finish the job.